Hello and welcome to episode 49 of my Working with Todoist series. Yes, we've gone back to working with Todoist. In this episode, I want to show you uh, how to postpone a task rather than completing it and how Todoist actually organizes or actually works with this system, uh, with this methodology. So I've got uh, a simple task up here. Uh, <clears throat> called postpone this task to another day. Now, if I go and click on the button icon on the right hand side here, uh, the edit task button, we've got sh schedule or schedule right here. So we've got, uh, I can schedule it for today, but that'd be pointless because it already is set up for today. Uh, this button here, I can postpone to tomorrow. And I'm going to show you a variation of how this actually uh, alters uh, depending on the task, but this is not an this this task postpone this task to another day is actually a non-repeating task. So this just comes up simply postpone to tomorrow. Um, I can have here postpone to next week or move it to next week. Now what that's going to do is it's going to move it to Monday. It's not going to randomly pick a day. It's just going to move that to Monday, which in this case I'm recording on a Sunday. So this is going to move it to tomorrow. And finally, I can pick a date <coughs> from the date picker here and I can <coughs> I can move this task to any day I particularly like. So that's how it works with a non repeating task. Now, things start changing when you have a repeating task. And let me show you with this add new word to the word of the day list. Now, this is a daily repeating action. So um, again, I can, <laughs> I'm pointless doing it because it's already up for today. But this one here, postpone to tomorrow. Now, this is a daily, daily repeating task from my routines folder. And this comes seven days a week. So once I click it off, it disappears for the day and it will come back tomorrow. So if I postpone this to tomorrow by clicking this button, what will happen is it will not affect my Karma points. So for those of you who are very into the Karma point system in Todoist and don't want to interfere with the, the record by just clicking off a task or completing a task which you haven't actually done, then you can use this function to postpone to tomorrow and it will not affect your karma points. Of course, again, I've got next week and then I've gone for another day, which will be pointless on a repeating task. Now, the thing starts changing when I move into a non daily repeating task. So for example, here, edit YouTube video. This is something I would do on a Sunday afternoon. So when I go into my uh, edit task functions here, I've got obviously today, but now it says postpone to Sunday. Now it already is Sunday. And what it would do is it will post it, postpone it to the next time this task is due to come up, which in this case will be one week from today, which is next Sunday. So you need to keep that one in mind when you're using this postpone button. For repeating tasks, if you use the postpone button, it will postpone the task to the next week or the next day that you want to postpone this tour. So if you were in my case, sometimes let me if you give you an example, if tomorrow in the UK is a public holiday, <clears throat> it's the I believe it's the Maybank holiday or something like that. It gets very confusing in the UK. Um, and let's say that uh, Sunday today, I'm going to go out with my uh, wife and my little dog. And we're going to have the day out in the countryside. So I wouldn't necessarily do any of this stuff today. I would instead postpone it all till tomorrow. So if I wanted to edit my YouTube videos tomorrow, then I'm going to have to pick up the I could actually use next week because that's a Monday, but I would have to pick up the date picker and then I would postpone the task to Monday the 30th as it is in here. Now, obviously, I have a little problem with that because that as far as I found actually moves things to uh, another day for the whole task. So I would have to go back in and rewrite the um, the date picker. So what would happen is if I postpone it to another day, I'm going to have to readjust everything from that. So what I would suggest you do is 
just allow these to become overdue. If you know you're going to do them tomorrow anyway, and it is a good reminder of the things that you're behind with if you allow them to go overdue. And in your overdue list, in your today list, what will happen is your overdue's tasks will come above today for obvious reasons. And that's just something that I would strongly recommend you be aware of. So, as I say, for my add new word to the word of the day list, this one is actually quite easy to figure out because um, postpone till tomorrow means that this task has not been completed today, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be doing it tomorrow. It's a daily repeating task. Regular tasks like this one here, postpone task to another day. Um, this one is a single task. So uh, if I postpone this till tomorrow, it'll just come up in my list tomorrow. But be very careful with the tasks that are uh, set up for repeating on um, a, like Monday, Re repeat every Monday or repeat every Monday and Friday. This is where it can get, start getting a little bit confusing. And I strongly recommend that you recheck um, the, the date that you've picked up in Todoist. Anyway, so I just wanted to cover that one because I know I've seen a lot of people asking questions about what happens when you postpone uh, tasks, when you postpone dates and move things forward. And this is something to be particularly aware of if you're into using the Karma points. I'm not particularly big on the Karma points, uh, but I know many of you out there are. And I just wanted you to be very, very clear of how this works. So, for example, as I said, if you... Um, if you're using this night and you don't want to click it off and rewrite it again, then just use the postpone till tomorrow. It doesn't add into your karma points. It doesn't count as a task completed. You've just moved it forward. Uh, it can be very, very quick. And once you understand it, it can be very, very useful. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to get all the latest videos. As I've mentioned before, I do try to post, uh, post two to three videos a week. And uh, if you have any questions at all or you would like me to cover anything on Todoist, please leave a, qu a note in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer the question for you. So that's it for today. And until next time, I wish you all a very, very productive week.